Transmission Control Protocol slash Internet Protocol which is set of networking protocols that allow to or further computer to communicate. The Defense Data Network, part of the Department of the Defense, developed TCP slash IP and it has been typically adopted as network standard. Even if you haven't heard of TCP, you've heard of what runs on it, together with the World Wide Web, email, and peer-to-peer file sharing, between others. While TCP is used to link network devices to the Internet, it can also be used as a communication protocol for a private intranet or extranet. There is an order of process to be followed by the users of connection-oriented service. These are, connection is established, information is sent, connection is released. In connection-oriented service we have to create a connection before initial the communication. Once connection is established, we send the message or the data and then we release the connection. Connection-oriented service is more consistent than connectionless service. We can send the data in connection-oriented service if there is a fault at the receiver's end. Example of connection-oriented is transmission control protocol. We have to establish connection before start communication. Once the connection is established, we can send message or information to the another computer. After finish the data communication, we can release the connection. Three-way handshake or a TCP three-way handshake is a method which is used in a TCP slash IP network to make a linking between two different client or server to client. It is a three-step method that needs both the client and server to exchange synchronization and acknowledgement packets before the real data communication process starts. Three-way handshake process is planned in such a way that both ends support you to initiate, negotiate, and discrete TCP socket connections at the same time. It allows you to hand over multiple TCP socket networks in both directions at the same time. In the initial step, the client creates a connection with a server. It sends a segment with SYN then notifies the server about the client should start communique and by what should be its order number. Step 2. In this stage server replies to the client appeal by SYN ACK signal set. ACK helps you to indicate the response of segment that is acknowledged and SYN suggests what sequence number it should able to start with the segments. Step 3. In this last step, the client acknowledges the reply of the server and they together make a steady connection will initiate the authentic data transfer process. This is the example when we are doing web page or any other data with the TCP protocol and when we download web page without TCP protocol. The UDP protocol works equally to TCP, but it throws out all the error checking stuff, all the back and forth communication familiarize latency, slow down things down. When a network uses UDP, packets are just sent to the receiver. The sender doesn't want to make sure the receiver receives the packet, it just continues to transfer the next packets. If the recipient misses a few UDP packets here and there, they are just lost, the sender won't resend them. Losing all this above means the devices can transfer more quickly.